Hey everyone, welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Mega Man and Dr. Wily's Revenge. Heading on to Fireman this time. Not gonna lie, this video is getting recorded after part 4 because, well, I proved that making videos at 5.30 in the morning on no sleep is not the best of ideas. Basically what happened is I made this video, finished it, named it, and decided to make part four right after, so I was like, okay. And due to what I can only call sleep-deprived lack of attention, uh, I happened to name uh, part four the same thing as part three, and Cam Studio does not have a prompt for that, you know? It's not like, hey, you already have a file by this name, are you sure you want to do this, dumbass? So, uh, yeah, so it just overwrote the old video, and, well, here I am re-recording re this seven hours later. Yeah, the file was originally just, you know, it's Mega Man for the Game Boy, so MMGB, and it's part three, so MMGB3, and I just, whatever, brain farted and named part four MMGB3, so just overwrote it and screwed me over. But hey, I'm back, you know, I'll get to... Have fun in Fireman stage and mistime ice slashers on Sniper Joe's. Ow, stupid Sniper Joe. Really can't say how great a weapon uh, ice slasher is. Um, it doesn't do any damage, but it's such a great utility weapon against pretty much every enemy. They'll freeze them in place, makes them far easier to deal with. I mean, Sniper Joe's here, I mean, you can just freeze them in their vulnerable position and unload on them. I mean, that's just, that's just great, is what it is. And right there, that's why I'm not worried about uh, taking hits. We got a nice, juicy life power up there. And another reason Ice Slasher is awesome. Use it on the fire, it turns into a platform that won't hurt you. Get your life. And continue on. As much if if you've watched my uh, Mega Man 5 LP... You'll hear me uh, pretty much every video at least like six times say how Gravity Hold is uh, the most amazing thing ever. Well, I'll be saying that a lot about Ice Slasher in this game. It really allows for a lot of excellent uh, opportunities. Freezing guys in place, they take a lot of number of hits. Always, always nice. Um, you can even freeze like big eyes in place. And in part four, you'll see me, oh my god, energy that never drops in this game. Big energies have the lowest drop percentage in this version of the game than in any other Mega Man game. Well, that's pretty nice. Anyway, um... <clears throat> and part four, you'll definitely see me abuse Ice Slasher in Cut Man's level as well. I like using it here. I mean, you gotta time your jumps over these fires. Forget that! Just freeze them and jump over. I'm American. I'm too lazy for this stuff. Almost at the boss in the last hallway here. Even though Ice Slasher is Fireman's weakness, shock, shock, uh, I'm not going to be using it on him. Not really that it's exactly a challenge. Um, Fireman is very easy as long as you aren't super hyper. If you s actually just stand still instead of trying to jump around or run around, Fireman is... Probably the easiest robot master because unlike a Lek Man where he had to cheese his AI and keep up with it, and Iceman where he actually did have to move around and jump, Fireman all you have to do is jump straight up and shoot him. If as long as you stand still, he'll just stand right there and shoot his fire. All you gotta do is jump. Yep. Good old fireman. No, I messed up the timing. But see how easy that was. Oh, just getting over how creepy this weapon get screen is. All right. Gotta leave it off here, heading into part four, where I take on Cutman. 
And then, uh, after that, we'll take on Dr. Wily, the next set of Robot Masters. Uh, that'll probably be all in one video. So, I will see you in part four for Cop Man. And then, uh, well, stay tuned and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And have a good day.